professional credentials and so do Angelica Chichoka. On the outside, we're looking at Renwid Price. Here's Nicey Santiuste. Angelica Chichoka has been picked out and Chichoka, well, had a very good run in the Rome Diamond League meeting. Constance Klausterhalfen finished second in that particular meeting and went under four minutes for the first time in her life. Just a quick glance there at the French athlete, Elodie Normand. Uh, Maureen Kloster. Coming here is the number two Dutch athlete, no Sifan Hassan, but still very, very competitive indeed. Has a personal best of 3.59.70 and has been running well on the international circuit as well so far this year. The athletes we didn't mention, Christina Mackey from Czech Republic in there. So to Daria Barishevic from Belarus, Natalia Kreshepa from Ukraine, Maria Perez from Spain, and here's Nicey Santiuste from Italy. So those are the 11 women in this particular race. Well, it's going out at a fairly decent pace for a championship 1500 meters. We've seen some pretty lamentable races in the past where they've literally just walk, almost walked around barely picking their legs up but this is certainly a little bit better we've got to close to help from there and she has had an incredible season so far the young german she's become the first german to ever perform the triple of or the treble i should say to run sub 15 over 5,000 meters sub two over 800 meters and sub four over the 4, uh, 1500 um, and still the 1500, very much her priority, although her coach has said that he thinks she's got a lot of potential over the 5k distance. So there she is on the outside, slowly moving up. Very bold runner. She doesn't look like it, but very much someone who can go with pacemakers in the elite races, the young German. So 400 meters completed in 76.02. Costa moving to the front now, just injecting a little bit of pace at this stage. The pack all still bunched together. Perez from Spain on her shoulder. Costa Halfen on the outside, just keeping clear of any trouble at this stage. A little bit of a surprise to see Koszyka from Poland at the back. We saw there in the men's 800 metres, there's a huge danger if you get block boxed and the pace starts to increase. So they come round to see two laps to go. Foster Halfen takes the lead, going through 700 metres unofficially in 2.07. And I mean, you can just see her striding away, and it's something we saw yesterday in the women's steeplechase, her compatriot Geza Felicitas Krause. And it's really those youngsters in German distance running doing very well on the international scene as well. And as I mentioned, last year in Ostrava at the Golden Spike, she was running ahead of the rest of the field after the pacemaker went out. In Rome at the Diamond League, she ran really well when she went sub four for the first time in her career. And she's just building up that lead on Costa. Well, this is a surprise because I would have thought that Costa or Kocheka would have actually chased her at least until this stage. They're just letting her go. As we've seen from her performances on the international circuit, particularly at the Rome Diamond League meeting, it doesn't look as though she's going to tie up. The lead is just growing and growing and growing. It's about 15 metres at the bell. And she's just extending it. And the gap is just extending with every stride from Klosterhauf. And, well, the rest just seemingly running for second place now. I think Costa must have taken a decision as we see 1,200 metres in... 3.19.24. Well, the way she's running, despite that very, very sluggish opening lap, she could start challenging the championship best of Anna Mishenko from Bergen back in 2010. Ukraine athlete running 4.05.32. This is turning into a time trial for Klosterhalfen. Well, she's just coming round into the home straight. 
Well, probably a little bit too much to do. I think she's just going to be outside that championship record. But nevertheless, a very fine in run indeed. Kashika just closing her down in second place, but there's far too much ground to make up down the home straight. Coming through strongly for third is the Ukraine athlete, Prashepa. 409.57 unofficially for Klosterhalfen. Poland, Ukraine take second and third. Well, that was a very, very effective way of taking maximum points for Klosterhalfen. And she's going to increase Germany's lead at the top of the table at the European Athletics Team Championships. And it's very interesting with her because she has won the European Junior Cross Country title twice and it really shows that, that versatility of running the cross country races in the off season, running 5,000 meters, 800 meters, 1,500, it really all contributes to the overall strength of that young German. Volunteers in a refugee camp, I believe, in her spare time as well, and does some training sessions there. There yep. you can see Custer just leading the field there, but then really dropped off towards the end of the race. And the Polish athlete, who has shown that final speed in Amsterdam last year, we saw going round that final bend to take that second spot behind the strong German. Look how far back the pole is there in fourth still. Oh, Costa tired very badly over the final 150 meters and drifted back, I think, to sixth place, which is a little bit of a surprise from a woman who's run 4.03 this year. Here we see the closing stages of the race. Well, Kichoka did manage to close down a little bit in the end, but it was too much to make up over the course of the final 100, 150 meters for the pole and a very fine win for Klosterhaufen. And of course, Klosterhaufen is still only 20 years of age, so could potentially race at the European Under-23 Championships in Budgosh later this year, but will most certainly keep an eye on the World Championships in London. And I don't know whether she's just going for the 1500 or whether she might attempt a double effort there. I know Laura Muir, of course, the, the standout European athlete over the 1500 and the 5K is attempting the double. As Schott was certainly one of the athletes they were banking on. And in quick order, we move on to the women's middle distances and the 1500 meters, Costa Halfen from Germany. 